How's everybody doing today? Good. Because we're back with another video, you guys. You guys, today is a Southern food video. Um, tradition meal that I cook. Well, it's not exactly what I cook every year. I switch it up a little bit. But we still got our black eyed peas. And I just want to show you guys how I'm going to go on here and make these black eyed peas. But anywho, you guys. Look at my coffee mug that I got for Christmas, you guys. Now, this changed colors, and I think it will be on a short story, but I definitely will show you guys how it, it works. But I got this from my best friend of, ooh, let's say over 40 years, okay? And, yeah, it, it's, it's a wonderful way to start the morning. But we're going to get that out the way. Because <laughs> this is not what this video is about. Okay. So guys, as you guys know, I hadn't been uploading. Because I took a break, you guys. I took a break. So what we're going to do here is we're going to saute the onions right quick. And these were some leftover onions from my Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, no Christmas dinner. Because I didn't cook for Thanksgiving, you guys. Follow me on that. Okay, so we're going to saute them. Because we're going to make us a delicious pot of beans. You can say vegan style because I'm not going to put any meat in it. Um, You know, I'm not going to put any meat in it. Because I feel like I already have enough meat. And you know, you get to the point. Those are cut up green peppers, you guys. And we also have some salad. Because I don't want any of this to go to ruin, right? Because it's all eatable. You know what I'm saying? You guys, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to put us some no salt, original kefir seasoning. No salt, original kefir seasoning. You guys, I hope I'm showing you guys right. Yeah. Uh-oh. And we're just going to season these on up. A lot of people in there, right? Well, it's a lot to me. But we're going to saute these on up before we put our beans in. So, guys, here is my black eyed peas. I have one pound that I pre soaked. I pre soaked because I wanted to make sure that they were clean. And you know, a lot of things come to the surface, you guys. So, yeah, you know, you don't want all of that. Get as much of that out as possible. Before you make sure you put your beans in. Because you know these dry beans they come with rocks and all kind of things in them. So you want to make sure that you get that out of there. Okay. So yeah pre-soak them. That way it won't take you long to cook them. Okay so I didn't drain the water off them. And I'm going to put them right on over in this pot. I'm going to put them all in this pot. I'm going to put that in here. Oh, you guys, it smells so delicious. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and get out some water. This is a, a two cup water, I think, or four cups. I don't know. The measurements been washed off, but I want to say it's two cups. But I'm using hot water. And I'm just going to submerge the beans. Enough to cover them well. And I'm going to cut that pot down. So we of course we got three cups in here. And we're just going to go ahead. Let me cut this water off. Go ahead and I'm pulling out my pot top. Because I don't have a day. So you guys keep an eye on that. We're gonna get it a good stir. We have our pot on, I wanna say low, not medium high. And we're gonna cover this and we're gonna let it do its thing. And we'll be back. So guys, what's also with this dinner? Is we have some country ribs. We got some country spare ribs, you guys. And yeah. 
I'm gonna slide these uh, in the oven. I already coated the seasoning, and what I used was Cajun style. I used Cajun style, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add me some onions on top of here, right? Because, like I said, we're using up leftover onions and everything because hey, I had it already pre-chopped, so. Your girl wanted to make it light in the kitchen, but yet a yummy meal that one could enjoy. Now, we're going to let this bake on 350 until they are nice and tender and done, you guys. Nice and tender and done, so that will be part of the meal. And once we get them nice, tender, and done, and I'm not going to put any water in it. Let me stress that. I'm not going to put any water in it. I'm going to let it cooking its natural juices from the fat and you know some they don't like it but I love it so I want it more like a um I want to say fried but I don't know if you guys I just love it a certain way without putting much no water actually in it but I do have a nonstick spray on the bottom you guys Pam and I'm going to slide this on in the oven and I'm going to let this do its thing. And then once it do its thing, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to slap up some good barbecue sauce on it. Now, mind you, I don't make my barbecue sauce homemade. I like to go with what I have in the cabinet. And we're going to check the cabinet and we're going to see what we got. And we're going to put that on to make this a delicious meat that you can enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Without going out to the grill. So guys, what we're about to do now is I'm going to saute, and I put a little olive oil in the skillet. I'm going to go in here and saute some green beans from the can. So we're going to start off by putting the remaining of the onions in here, the remaining of the onions, right? Now, by all means, you don't have to use onions. I usually slice them the long way. But like I said, we use some leftovers, right? So we're gonna saute those onions and get those started for our green beans, right? Now, what seasoning I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a little black pepper, a little black pepper, a little crushed red peppers. Right, because I want to. I always just love saute with crushed red peppers. Right now, typically, I do not use um, I, I do not use uh, I'm, I'm taking this off. We got a little green seasoning, right? Many don't, I don't know if a lot of people know about that, but you know, by us having green veggies, we want to put. Look a little green seasoning on there, right? Well, because we're going to take it up a notch, okay? <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and just let this saute for a minute. Just like that in the seasoning. Because we want all of that to get a little something, something when you get that bite, okay? I'm not going to use the green onions. I mean, green bell peppers. I don't know. Let me see. I think I will. I'll put a little green bell peppers in there. You know, why not? It's still veggies, right? Well, it's not want not. We're not starting that year off like that. So we're just going to let them two do their thing. I believe in taking up food to another knot. And see, we had to go with the green beans in the can because the stores were so crowded. But your girl didn't want to use, she didn't want to do no greens. I didn't want to do no cabbage. You know, I didn't want to do any of that. And I do have spinach, but we put, I put that in my smoothies, you guys. But anyway, we're going to let that saute a little, little bit. We don't want it too soft, and we don't want it too dark, right? So we're going to go ahead and add our green beans from 
These was bought at Kroger. We're going to let these do a thing, right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to let them do their thing. You're just going to get it right on in here. And this, my dear, is how we're doing this. 2022 meal for the baby. Oh, okay, you must have made it in the pan then. Okay. So we're gonna let that go in here and do its thing. Let me turn on for my rice. Okay, and guys, we'll be back. So fam, we have us uh, some delicious hog moths that I have warmed up from Christmas dinner. So I got it on low, and I'm just going to simmer it to it, do its thing, because we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that on the table as well, you guys. So over here is where my rice will be. And, yeah, we have the patty sweet potato pie, deep dish in the oven, you guys, along with some cornbread, and we got our spare ribs. So we'll see you when all of this is complete. Now, if you're new to this channel, thank you. I hope you like this content enough to like, comment, and share with any and everyone. Let them know that your girl, Miss T, she loves to cook. And I will cook southern food, comfort food, low calorie food, you name it, including diabetes reverse meals, you guys. So, yeah. I try to bring a lot of different flavors to food or, you know, different styles of food so everyone can enjoy a recipe from Miss T, also known as Miss Jonesy. So, yeah, like, comment, and share, and join the fam, you guys. I have a goal of 10000 that I'm looking at right now. So smash that subscribe button and come join my team. I would love to meet you. Leave a comment below. Don't be scared. I'm only here to be your friend. So guys, we're going to get ready to close this out. You guys, I want to show you my delicious spare ribs oven baked. Now, no, I don't have sauce on them, but I am going to put some sauce on them. And yeah, that's what happens. When you take your time in the kitchen. So let's go over here and check out our black our black black eyed peas, you guys. Here they go. They're delicious and soft with their gravy, you guys. With that gravy, and we got some cornbread back there. Let's just lay the spoon right there. And over here. We have some leftover hog moss, you guys. That's what we have right here. Like I said, you guys, we had them for Christmas. I had a few that was left. And we got us some rice right there. We also have the green beans. Guys, can you see the green beans? Yeah, there go our green beans, okay? So, we gonna go over to the, and here go our sweet potato pie, you guys. Now, if you haven't checked out how I made these sweet potato pies, it's a replica um, of Patty LaBelle's. So, yeah, that completes our New Year dinner, you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and share. And if you're not part of the fam, what are you waiting on? Hit the bell, leave a comment, and come join your girl. I love to meet you. So, yeah, I do respond back. Not as quickly, but this year I'm going to be on top of the game, okay? So, I'm going to see you guys then. Sending much love. Happy New Year's. Be safe. Enjoy your quality time you have with your family. And... Much love from my house to yours. Goodbye.